G'day guys, this is the jab focus session. So we're gonna be doing jabs. If you're ready to go, you can skip ahead to the start. Otherwise you can use the time that I'm explaining this video to just have a rest if you're doing multiple sessions. We're gonna do three rounds of two minutes each and 30 second rest in between. Now I'm gonna be wearing boxing gloves on top of wraps and I recommend having wraps to preserve the life of your boxing gloves. For my Cobra bag setup, I'm using the Culus kit with the PVC modification. And it's nice and fast, which is ideal for jabs. I love this setup for working the jabs. If you're using the spring version, that's good too. Just try and set it to the fastest speed that you can get nice and low as you're doing your jabbing. All right, gloves on and let's get into it. Now with jabs, it's all about speed. And with speed, you'll get power as well. You want to pull them out fast. Knees bent, elbows tucked in, and just put it out. And breathe out with each strike. Keep your chin tucked in as well. Alright, let's do the other side. Move around if you have to. Work out the distance as well from the bag to where you are. Switch sides. Go fast if you can. Slow it down. The other side. Ten seconds. Switch sides. Thirty second rest. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take deep breaths. Alright, um, this round I've actually lowered the setting or increased the speed. It's a little bit lower, so it's a little bit faster. So again, let's work on the speed. And focus on power as well. Maximum power, maximum speed. Switch sides. You always have a preferred side. One of your sides is going to be a little bit better. Switch sides again. This round, give it all. Give it your best. You can feel the shoulder burning. Swap over. Swap over. Keep going. 
Squat fiber. Swap over. Ten seconds. Four. All right. Big breaths. Breathe in. Let it out. So that was your power round. Maximum power. Maximum speed. Now we're gonna take it easy a little. This round I've set it to a slower speed and a little bit higher, longer reach. So we're gonna practice double and triple jabs, multi jabs. So just work the combos, whatever you feel like. You can do double jabs, that's fine. The longer reach, the ball starts to move around a bit, and that's all right too. So I switch sides. Switch sides. Remember to bring the hand back to guard position. I know it's hard, especially in the later rounds. Switch sides. If the ball starts to move around too much, just control it with a single jab. Move in to increase the speed. Remember the double jabs usually are set up for the cross. So practicing that is, is great. So you do a double jab then a cross. And rest. All right, guys, well, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully your shoulders are burning, mine are. Now you can mix and match sessions. You can follow this up by another session, such as a combo session. I'll see you guys next time.